Right, so we're here today in Oxford installing a Solar Edge 10 kilowatt battery. Now, this client got in contact with us uh, in October last year, we're, we're February at the moment, and they wanted to explore adding battery storage to their, to their existing system. And they had Solar Edge, which was really nice. Uh, we, that's probably our favorite system we like to go for at the moment, so that was great they had that already. That was installed by another contractor. And now we're in the month of February, there is no VAT on energy storage systems. So the customer waited until this month to have it fitted, and here we are installing it today. So I'll quickly show where the battery is going to be going. So Adam is down there at the moment. That's roughly where the battery is going to be on the wall. He's just having to cut off some random metal hoop that's just poking out the wall. The black cable that you can see there is the entry point into where the electrics are. And that is where the solar PV inverter is. So from there, we're going to be running the DC cables down in some black conduit all the way along to the battery. We're just waiting for the wholesalers to drop the battery off and then we'll get the, the first thing we'll probably do, depending on when they arrive, is get the battery fitted and then work on the containment for the DC cables. How are you getting on with that, bud? Yeah, amazing, mate. You've done quite well already. I'm, I'm impressed. <laughs> I don't know what that would have been used for. Probably a gate. That far away, maybe. Or to lock They're, the bike up on as well. Looks like you've been there a long time. So while we're waiting for the battery to be delivered, we're gonna start off inside uh, by drilling a hole from the internal cupboard to outside. So Adam's inside now. I'll quickly show you where he is, give you some perspective. So he's in there. So you've got this part of the porch. This is roughly where he's gonna be bringing the cable out low level. And then that's where we're gonna, sorry, that's where we're gonna be drilling it out low level. Conduit will then start from there and run away along. Gonna probably have to put a set in um, over the gas pipe somewhere. Not sure what we're gonna do with that, but we need to, to get around that at some point. Either go, we could go medium height, you know, waist height along, but I don't think that's gonna look any good. So I think what we're gonna do is bring the cable out, drop it down low level, either above the gas pipe and then down here, put a set over, you know, in the conduit over that gas pipe and come round through to the battery. We could, we could go above it. That might be better. We'll speak to the customer and see what they prefer. So we're inside and here's the inverter up here. So this is where we're gonna be making the connection onto the hybrid inverter for the battery. But the first thing we're gonna be working on is Adam is drilling from the outside in. There's an armoured here, which goes off to an outbuilding. Uh, so this armoured here, this swoops down and goes outside and Adam is planning to drill through to the side of it somewhere here, and then that'll be our entry point for the DC cables. So, let's go outside and see him do that. Great, so the customer has got their details now up on the app, which is great. Didn't have that before, you only had the online portal, didn't you? So, didn't even know I had the online portal <laughs> until <laughs> five minutes ago, and now you've got the online portal and the app, so. so that should tell you on there how much you've actually done and all your like, performance done. Yeah, yeah, so... I mean, it is a cloudy day in... If you click on February, month, so nothing. So it gives you like a breakdown of yeah, everything yeah, on there, but you can lose yourself in that later on this evening. Um, and uh, look for all the data, everything. You, you might not. Some people obsess <laughs> over it and... I did, I did. I, I, I obsessed over it for a long time and then the novelty wore off after a few months, but let it, let it do what it needs to do. That's a good idea. Right, so you're going to drill through there, Adam, and then... Yeah, lovely, nice. So the decision has been made on how we're going to route the conduit. That hole there is our entry out. We're going to put a terminal box on there, come up along to probably this small line here, and then run it all the way along all the way along and then round to the battery. Uh, we had just, if we run it in low above the gas pipe, we just had too many obstacles to go over the gas pipe and then this bit here. So we just thought it was easier. To bring it above, this existing looks like a network cable of some kind. So we're just gonna run it above there, all the way along. And I think that's gonna look nice and neat. A 
that's how the old school do it. Big disc cutter. And they just get straight on with it. The hook is now gone. Battery is now here. I'm gonna have to unload that. So moving the vans around, make space for the delivery driver. What's that? Handles. Got the solar edge handles in here. Help us lift the battery up. Right, we have moved the battery. Makes a massive difference with the handles on. Like you could probably do this with two people. Well, we're gonna have to in a bit. So yeah, um, I've got it set up here. And we'll get away from the noise. Now we've got all the materials here. We're gonna start with getting the conduit in, getting the containment fitted and then um, maybe might even fit the battery first. So it's either containment or battery and we'll pick up on the next bit. So we have a new set of tools or we have a new tool set from Milwaukee and we're going to use this um, for socket wrench for tightening up the fixings for the bracket. So we'll have that on video shortly. Right, we have got the plate marked up, so we're gonna aim to get eight fixings through on this plate into the wall. So we're gonna drill these out now and then get the plate fixed up. A little bit out of breath, not too much though. Got the battery in, didn't we? What we did is sat it down on the box because we can't have the handles in this side. I let Adam have the handles his side and I had to crouch down on here, to see where my strong knee was. And then <clears throat> pushed it up from here and then had to allow for the hook, if we can get in there and see it, that one here in the top and the bottom one as well at the same time. So a little bit tricky, but we done it on the second attempt, didn't we? We done a, no, we done it on the first attempt. We done a pilot, pilot lift, didn't we? Pilot run, I'm glad that bit's done. So as it's kind of raining here and there, we're gonna get the cover on, get this in the dry, and then start with the conduit containment going down here. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Can you use this? Yeah, we had it on the, the, the EV post. You know, the long time's passed since then, hasn't it? Yes, yeah. Like three weeks. <laughs> Bit more, literally a fraction more. I don't think, yeah, that'll do. Yeah, that looks good. Just getting the last few saddles fixed into place. And the next bit will be getting the conduit fixed up onto the saddles. And then we can think about running the DC cables through the conduit back through to the inverter. Right, so we have another new little toy with us today. We have got the Rumpotech, if that's how you say it. Rumpotech cable roller. We're gonna put this to the test with the DC cables that we need to run in. And never, never used one before. Don't know if they're any good, but seen videos on YouTube of them. So we're gonna give it a go ourselves. See what it's like. Oh, good so far. Do you like, do you approve so far? Yeah. Yeah, you always like to pick faults and stuff, so what, what have you got if, so far? If the cable's halfway through, it's not going to be heavy enough, it's going to fall off. 
you reckon? There are, um, well, I know you mainly use six, six mil armoured or whatever, armor, so that'd be heavy enough. So what the other kits that I got are the ones that include this like bar that passes through and holds it on. It's a thread, you can get threaded. Yeah, you, yeah, you, or you put some of your own in there. But we got we got three of them basically. But I only got you that one because you only do mainly armoured for EV charge points. So drums are normally heavy enough to hold it down. So just measuring off, we've only got one drum of six mil um, DC cable. So we're just measuring that off. Well, Adam's measuring it off, and then we will cut cut it off tie the other one, tie the cut piece onto the drum and pull the two through together that we need. And then we'll move on to the next part of the job, making the connection of the battery. So put it all through, get it all nice and neat in that box. And then I can feed it through to you if you want when you go inside or vice versa. So Adam is just going to put the DC connector onto the end of the DC cables now, onto the battery. Let's get the, let's put the Rumpotec into action again. That is just so much easier, isn't it? Wow. What a simple, easy, nice to use bit of kit. That is, that is excellent. Right, quick update then. We are back inside, making the, the, the ends off on the other end of the DC cables that come from the battery. Then we've got the branch connectors, which are here, which split the, they're the DC cables that come from the solar PV panels there. We're gonna take them out, obviously turn the system off, take them out, put the branch connectors in, and then the battery into this end, into the branch end, the battery and the solar PV cables then connect into this to split the system, and that's how the DC, uh, and that's how the solar edge battery feeds into this hybrid system. So just plugging in the branch connectors now, we've got the battery cables plugged in and then we're just going to connect in the corresponding uh, PV array cables. A little bit of clipping in here just to get these cables clipped nice and neatly through the cupboard. Right, so where we are up to now, the DC cables are all in, We've got the connections made down at the battery end, connections made at the inverter end. So what is left out here? Um, I've got to leave shortly, so the more detailed footage is going to probably uh, end shortly. So what is left, we've got the earth that needs to be connected from here. It's pulled in, but that's going to be clipped back. That's going to be connected onto here and go all the way back through to the consumer unit and connected onto the main earth in terminal. That's needed for the battery. Another element of the job that we're doing, the customer already has a My Energy Zappy charger. It's got the, it's got the clamp for the load management, but we're going to add in another clamp so it will give the display on the app so you can see how much it's producing on the solar. I'll give you a quick idea of what that looks like now on my app. So right here is the app for one of our properties and it, it so basically when you add the clamp on and make a connection to the solar it will give you a reading of what the soda, exactly what the soda is doing in the My Energy app. So at this particular property, it's producing 300 watts right now. Um, and that's what the customer wants. So the customer can so far, he can only see on his app, the EV charger. So he will have something that looks similar to this. So with just the load, with one CT clamp fitted, I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, with one CT clamp fitted, you'll get this display with a My Energy Zappy. So you will see what the Zappy's doing, 
and how much is being poured in from the grid. But if you don't add that second CT clamp in, you won't be able to see the solar as well. So we're adding that in as well for the client. So that's another part of the job that's going to be done today. So when we're all finished, this customer is going to have a brand new 10 kilowatt solar edge PV battery. And he's going to have an additional emblem come up on his My Energy app that will tell him what his solar PV is doing as well. And the rest of the footage will probably come from Adam. I'm going to leave him a camera and he will do a quick bit of um, footage, capture a bit of footage of the final installation all finished. So this is now the installation complete. The Solar Edge battery is now fitted and installed up and running, and it's all shown up on the customer's app. And he's been able to set the battery to um, charge and discharge at certain times of the day that suit his requirements. So we're just gonna walk through the completed installation now. So this is the battery up on the wall. And this is the feed from the inverter inside, which was just in there on the other side of the wall. DC cables have been routed through this conduit. That's the bonding conductor that we had to run in for the battery, which connects into the terminals down on the uh, lower side of the inside of the battery. And this is where the cables root through. And that's basically the installation all complete. So nice little job, adding on a battery to an existing solar PV system uh, where the customer had an existing solar edge inverter. So it made this job of adding the solar edge battery much easier. Thank you for watching the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.